Hello and welcome. I've spent some time to add even more content and I'm gonna go over it today. Great. What I wanted to do in this talk is go through some advanced topics and uh, advanced demos that I've created. So we'll go through them one by one and let's see what we got here. If you're using Unity for two or three years full time, even on production projects, you'll find that even as the best minds come together and work on projects, bringing some best practices to it, it still becomes a challenge to organize your projects in a way that can scale, that can be testable, that can be maintainable. Even if you're kind of new to the concepts of MVC, you'll be able to start seeing the patterns as I go through each of these examples. UI toolkit, how to build an in-game tutorial, you know, when you want the player to be guided through their first five minutes, learning the keys, et cetera. You know, how do you exactly add that into a game? Then an approach of multiple minis. So once you get used to the MVC architectural concept, we usually think of having one of those in the entire project. But what if you actually want to break your project and have more than one mini in it, which you definitely can. Um, I'll talk about data binding as well. So if you want to have a text field in your UI and then map that to where your data is stored, and anytime you have the user update that text, it'll automatically update the data model and the reverse. Anytime the data model updates, it'll uh, update the UI. So looking at data binding. Unity doesn't natively support that. Quite excitingly, that is available in UI Toolkit for Editor now. And in the future, it's coming in Unity for Runtime. I'm very excited about that. This is a custom approach that does uh, some data binding. Then um, we'll look at a simple game, this bouncy ball game. Uh, and then starting from the top, we'll look at a calculator and this count up example is very introductory ways to take a look. So we'll start from the top there uh, with the calculator. So let's jump into Unity here. 